to the love of my life. God only knows where I'd be without you. Thank you for never letting anything get in the way of the bigger picture of our love. No petty fights, bad days, or even had to, having to deal with a bad attitude after a Broncos loss stands in the way of us. I was waiting for you all along. When I'm with you, I feel all the cheesy things as some people would say. Mm -hmm. Butterflies in my tummy, my heart beating fast and constantly missing you when I'm not with you. The last four years have been the best four years anyone could ever ask for. Your everlasting love, support, and commitment to me is cherished every day and I thank God that he put you in front of my eyes. You make me feel heard, loved, special, safe, and like I'm the only person in this world. Now here we are about to walk down the aisle and say I do to each other forever and I couldn't be more ready for this moment with you. You have found a light in me that I couldn't find and for that I want to give you the world. Oh baby, you look beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, you look so gorgeous, honey. You oh, look baby. so handsome. You look so good. <laughs> I missed you the last freaking 24 hours. Jeez Louise. Wow. You look great. Do you love it? Yeah, I'm just taking a minute to look at you. <laughs> I vow to love you till the good Lord calls us home and even after that. I promise to protect you and our family. I promise to be the man that you have only dreamed of. And through the ups and downs, I got you and God's got us. I vow to get on your nerve and annoy you every once in a while. Mm, please. I vow to let you be right sometimes. But most of all, I vow to love and support you for eternity, to live and love this life God has given us together, to be the best mom to your children one day, to fall harder for you every day, and to be your best friend, lover, and wife all in one. All right, Austin Ashley, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of the Lord and all these witnesses, by the power vested in me by God and, of course, the state of Washington, to pronounce you husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Austin Porter. getting another call from Austin. It was 4th of July, just before it, last year. Him and Ashley have a tradition of going to the beach on the 4th of July with their families. But I get the call, he says, hey man, I want you to be the first to know. I'm gonna ask Ashley to marry me. And of course, I was so ecstatic, you know, that's awesome, I'm so happy for you. But I followed up with a question, are you sure she's the one? Without skipping a beat, he responds, buddy, I've never been more certain anything in my life. Over the last five years, we've become very close to Ashley. There are so many things we love about her. A few of our favorites are her huge heart, her love for Austin, her love for family, and her love to laugh and have fun. So a lot of people told me, so do you feel like you're losing your little girl? I said, no, it's totally the opposite. I and I have a new son, extended family, RJ and Kelly, and we love you guys. So, I look at it as my family's just gotten bigger. I never knew who was gonna end up with my sister. I've, I've really kind of pondered that thought for a long time. Austin, you came into the picture, and from what I've witnessed, man, you've been, a, you've, you've been a second to none, honestly. You're patient, you're respectful. I'm, I'm more than happy to see her marrying you. No, you're, you're a great man, and I, I couldn't be more proud to see her become a porter. And Ashley, I absolutely love you. You're beautiful, and he loves you so much, and you love him, and that is all that matters. Yeah.